If you have already been an active presenter user, you might realize that pause or stop audio action has not been supported yet. We are still working on this feature. In the meantime, there is still a workaround to pause or stop the audio and control it as you want. Let's learn how to do it right now. So, I want the flow of this slide to be like this. When I click the direction button, the two buttons, direction and start, will disappear, and the direction pop-up will appear, following with the audio being auto-played. Playing the game. You will have to answer 15 questions. Then, clicking the close icon will close the pop-up, make the audio stop, and the two buttons will appear again. We will design a direction pop-up first. Add shape, style it, and rename it in the selection pane to better differentiate objects. Continue creating a close icon by adding two lines. Style them. Then group them together. And rename it to close. Finally, group the direction in four and the close icon together to make a complete direction pop up. The next necessary step is to directly insert the audio you want to play into the slide. After inserting, you will see an audio object like this. If you do not want it to appear in the slide content, drag the audio object outside the canvas to the gray area. And in the media tab of the audio object, remember to tick Auto Play. Now, it's time to brainstorm a bit about the logical flow to set up the proper events and actions for each object. The key point here is, instead of using play audio action, you will use the show object and hide object. First, set initially hidden for the direction pop-up and the audio object to be hidden on the canvas. Doing this, these objects can only show up after an action is triggered later. Next, add the show and high object actions to the direction button like this. So, when you click on this button, direction and start buttons disappear, and the pop-up shows up. Following is the audio being auto-played because the audio object is made visible now, not hidden anymore. Click Start to start playing the game. You will have to answer 15 questions to earn $1 million in total. And to make the audio pause or stop, you will set up events and actions for the close icon. You will hide the direction pop-up and the audio object. Then make two buttons shown again. When you set the audio object to be hidden, the audio will no longer be played. Click Start to start playing the game. You will have to answer 15 questions to earn $1 million in total. Click Start to start playing the game. You will have to answer 15 questions. That's it! You thought it would be difficult, but it is so easy in fact. If you get stuck, try thinking differently and making use of what you have already had. And. Do you like this millionaire quiz game? Stay tuned, tutorials for it will be coming soon. Goodbye!